Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Of course, a brand new year and we are continuing with the art exhibit series on Now in collaboration with the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago. In studio with us today is a young and powerful artist named Shanika Allen. Good morning, Shanika. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here with us on the show. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. No. So let's talk a little bit about, before we get to your paintings, I mean, of course, viewers, you're seeing them in the background right now and they're absolutely incredible. But before we get to that, let's talk about your journey in art. When did you start? Well, so, I can't just say painting. Yeah, I'm painting yeah. and drawing. Well, journey started a while ago. I've been painting and drawing since I was really young. Mm -hmm. um, when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to draw cars and characters. I used to do coloring books. So I even wrote a story when I was younger and illustrated pictures in it. But I also um, recently did some art competitions. Okay. Also did art competitions along the way. But my art skills really refined at secondary school. Um, yeah, I learned a lot of new skills there and techniques. So you knew from a young age this was definitely something that you yeah, wanted to do? really, really young. Now, the beauty of that is we see that as you continue to grow as an artist, you also give back. And we want to touch on that as well in the conversation. But let's talk about in secondary school. Mm -hmm. How was it going from basically, you would, would you say you would have been self-taught up until that point, then yeah. refining your skills? I feel like the jump from learning the techniques, it was a big one. Mm -hmm. Like It's like almost like two different people did it, honestly. Incredible. Yeah. And I've noticed here with the three pieces that we have on set that your focus is on people. Is it that you prefer to draw people or is anything free game for you? I prefer draw people. I like to capture emotions and stuff, mm -hmm. especially in children, for sure. In I children, feel like it's sure. more pure, yeah. 100% and we're seeing that and we're going to get to that in a minute as well but let's talk about that when it comes to children because one of the ways you give back now is you teach children in your area. How did that start? Well it started um, one of my preschool teachers she saw my work and stuff and she, she asked if I could come and help them during summer vacation mm -hmm. and yeah I did help. And it's something that you continued. Yeah, it was really nice and that's nice experience. Wonderful. It helped me as well. Yeah. yeah, it helped you. Yeah. That's the beauty of it sometimes, you know, giving back. It really is something that also is going to assist you in moving further yeah. forward. Now, let's talk about what mediums you like to use. Because from what we've seen here, you use paint, but you also use charcoal, correct? Yeah, I use charcoal. Um, I feel like it gives off a different feeling mm -hmm. compared to the paints. I feel like the charcoal is more, shows like, I feel like it shows emotions a bit more to me. Well, like it's easier for me. Yeah. Well, let's talk about showing emotions because the first one that we have is Innocence. Yeah, Innocence. And this here is absolutely incredible. What inspired this? What inspired that? Uh, well, it was um, for my theme mm -hmm. for CXC, for CSEC. Okay. It was emotions and I wanted to show um, more of a, like a calmer side to right. the emotions instead of like, the angry and the happiness. I decided to try like a more subtle emotion. Mm -hmm. um, I did this in charcoal. Normally for charcoal, it could get really messy, but I decided yeah. to keep this one more neat. Just it, and know. how long did this take for you to do? A while, a while. Like you could say every day after school, I'll come and work on it for like about two months. Okay. After school, yeah. Amazing. And was this um, from somebody you saw? Is this from memory? Oh, not from memory. It's a photo. Oh, it's a photo? Yeah. Sometimes I can take photos as well. Okay, so you'll take photos and then Sometimes. you draw up. Yeah. Okay, incredible. Now let's go on to the second one. This one, definitely, you can see the joy emanating from their faces, young and free. I find it quite interesting as well that you have them holding on to barbed wire. Yeah, let's the talk barbed a little bit wire about that. was um, like, you could see a boundary, mm -hmm. and you could see that they're breaking boundaries in a type of way. Yeah. Interesting. So you've mentioned that you like emotions, and I noticed that, as you said, with innocence, you tapped into something a bit different. Yeah. And this is about breaking boundaries, yeah. essentially breaking barriers. Is that a theme that you want to continue to communicate in your art, or is it just, was this a one-off? I think so, but more so emotions on the whole. So, so I emotions. could go into mm -hmm. different emotions, yeah. So. And do you tap into your emotions when you do these paintings and drawings? I find it hardly, but I feel like I should do it more often. Definitely. It might might bring out some difference in your work. I mean, your work is absolutely fantastic, though. Now, one thing that's so fascinating here is the detail. Now, these are techniques that you would have learned while you were at in school. school. Yeah, at school. 
like when I'm doing drawings and stuff, I really try to focus on getting as much detail as possible. Yeah, well, you definitely have brought any detail. Now, was this work similar as well to Innocence, where you would come in and work on it day after day? Yeah, for sure. It was one of those as well. But this one was like a, like I say, longer. Mm -hmm. Like I started during Christmas and mm -hmm. I got finished, you could say April. Like I do piece by piece every day. Amazing. How does it feel when you finish these? Yeah, I feel really happy. I feel proud. Yeah. yeah. Now let's go on to this next one here. I wonder why. No, this is definitely striking and it's different. Tell me a little bit about this piece. So for this piece, um, you can see like she's orange and it represents, you can say vitality. Mm -hmm. But the background is more so gloomy, just to set the mood a little bit. And it's less realistic. Yeah. It's less realistic. It's more, you can say the brush strokes are more visible. Mm -hmm. Just to, yeah, just to set the theme for the name. Okay, interesting. And how long would this take you to do? I say less than the charcoal pieces. Less than the charcoal. Yeah. So do you have a preference between charcoal and paint? Charcoal is my favorite. Charcoal is your favorite. Yeah. And you mentioned that it's messy as well. So how long did it take you to hone that technique of not necessarily being messy? My first charcoal drawing, you could say it was more messy because mm -hmm. it was like a more, it was a different emotion. I was angry. This yeah. time. And it was more like messy just to show the um, emotion. That was my second, in a sense, was my second charcoal piece. And I think I did a very good job of maintaining. Oh, yeah. Definitely a fantastic job. I mean, looking at these pieces on set, I have to be honest. I mean, to see you come in and you're so young, you have so much ahead of you and to see that you've done such incredible work means that a lot more is coming in the future. But something that we discussed earlier offset is the fact that while you are an artist, you're also pursuing something quite on the other side of the yeah, spectrum. Completely. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, when I was younger, I really wanted to be a doctor, mm -hmm. a dentist. But um, I realized that I shouldn't let my passion go. Yeah. I, could, I could do what you said. I think I could do both. Yeah. So have you found that now that you are in pre-med, have you found that y using your, you can use your art as an outlet when perhaps it does get a bit yeah, high stress? Yeah, when the medicine gets a bit, a bit hectic, I mm -hmm. could use art as an outlet to help me. You know, really distress. Now, I know, I know throughout the conversation, you focus on the fact that emotion is what you are looking for and what you want to bring out. Is there anything else in particular that you either bring out in your work or you want to focus on in the future to communicate with the world? In the future, I would like to do more Caribbean themed pieces, like okay. vendors or persons riding bikes in the street, like more, you know, stuff you see in the Caribbean. Now, as you, outside, yeah. as you mentioned that, walk us through the process of how you get to this space and produce such incredible work like this. You mentioned that you also take photographs. Yes. So some, when I take photographs, I take a couple of them. I look at, I choose my favorites and then, I choose my favorites and then um, sketch some ideas of what. And then I um, also decide on the best medium to use. Like if... I should do it in charcoal or paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. So we can look forward to some more from you in the future. Yeah, right? for sure. So how many, is this your first collection? I'm assuming it's not your first collection. It's one of my first. One of your first. Yeah. I feel like um, I should be doing more art. This mm -hmm. is like my CXC pieces. Okay. So I, like, I'm just going to this year. Mm -hmm. So in the future, I'd like to do more pieces. Well, then we look forward to having you back on the show in yeah. the future. Tell us if we want to get in contact with you, where can we find more you information? You can find me on Instagram at Shinika Art. Wonderful. Well, Shinika, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank and you. thank you so much for loaning um, us this incredible work. Mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing more come from you in the future and all the best, of course, in your studies as well. Thank you. Shanika Allen here this morning as we continue, of course, to explore art and talk about what we have to offer in Trinidad and Tobago. Stay tuned. There's more coming up on our morning show that you don't want to miss talking about that carnival safety. So important. Full of magic, no